Hello friends, and welcome back to another exciting day of playing Link's Adventure DX. We just completed the sixth dungeon and got the power bracelet, allowing us to pick up lots of stuff, including statues. Oh yeah, statues. I guess we're on a journey now to, uh, some place. I don't even remember what the last clue was, but I'm sure that, uh, it won't be that hard to find. Oh, speaking of not that hard to find... Hoot! The many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken! The monster's power is real! They may conquer the island and destroy their foes! That day may come soon! Now go to the mountain tower! Fly like a bird! Hoot! Hoot! Yes indeed! Okay, mountain tower. Clue given by the infamous owl from the Zelda games. Well, I don't know about you, but it would appear that the only mountain on the map is up here, uh, in the north. So it's either got to be on the northeast or the northwest. Which one it is, I have no idea. So I guess we'll just have to go up there and hope for the best. We also have, actually, let's just bring up the map again real quick there. We have, we have like, this gigantic spot right here. This square over here that I'm, uh, going back and forth over that we just haven't explored. I'm not even sure what's up there, but I guess it couldn't hurt to find out. At any rate, um, I guess that's that. I really don't think there's any more prelude, uh, that, uh, we're gonna get. We pretty much know the big plot point that the whole island is an illusion. We know that waking the windfish will screw everything up, and you're not helpful! Sorry, I thought that was a pathway to the mountain. Anyway. And, uh, we've pretty much explored most of the map. So, I mean, there are a couple of things I think we can still do. We did get that magnifying lens, and I said that we can use that to read the book at the maybe village, but even then... Oh, we can pick up bushes now! That's nice. Okay, we couldn't do that earlier. I think I actually was, like, complaining about it. How do we get to that path up there? We need to get into the water somehow, but I don't see a way to get into the water. Anyway. So, yeah, um... There's really not a whole lot more to say other than we could like wander around and see if we could collect a few heart pieces. The item quest is completely done. Because um, the magnifying lens is indeed the last thing you get. And there's really nothing else we can buy. Oh, did we ever get that song? I don't think we did. Oh, no, we didn't get that uh, song from the boss off of... Uh, what was it? Mario 2. Swimming backwards. Anyway, I guess we'll go grab that right now. Um, I know we're like, we're like right here at this section uh, where we could go explore some unexplored territory, but before we get any farther away, I really think I just want to go get that. I think it's over. Is is it this? No, that's level three. Well, I'm pretty sure it's around this area. So maybe if we. Oh no, not the owl. The owl even talks to you on the map. Anyway, um, maybe if we're lucky we can find a transporter somewhere around here. I think there's like, how many of them are there? I know of three, but three just seems like such a small number of transporters to have on the map, so I'm thinking there must be like four at least, maybe five. Uh, we could, wait a minute, we could play, we could play this song actually, couldn't we, and teleport. This might get us there quicker, actually. I'm not quite sure, but, uh, too late now. It's a done deal. Yeah, this will teleport us to Crazy Tracy's spa pool. But it's, uh, it's nice for getting back to maybe Village. Especially because, well, I don't know if we're really that much closer, but at least it's, uh, I'm more familiar with this area. And that itself is, uh tantamount to me not getting lost, unlike if we were over there on the other side of the map. Anyway, but yeah, we, uh, teleporting here is pretty nice, because, uh, just a couple squares south, as you can see, there's this transporter thingy. I don't even know what they are. Ooh, we're experiencing some lag here. That's okay. I guess we're good now. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think it's over here, isn't it? The song plays. We're, look, we're going for the place with the signs. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, here we go. Gotta get our boots on. Skip you, moblin guy. Ow. <laughs> Epic fail. Oh, come on. 
tell you what, it's it's holes that are Link's true enemy. It's not monsters. Monsters can be defeated, holes can't. Alright, so we get to play the sign game again. Which isn't that big of a deal, now that I know the secret. Just follow the sign. This <laughs> is such an idiot. I'm such an idiot, because it's such an obvious solution to the problem. Just follow the signs exactly how they tell you to go, but no. I thought they were in some special order, like I had to actually, like, try it a million times. Go this- oh gosh dang it, I hit the button twice. Oh, that stinks. Alright, we gotta go back. I've done this sign puzzle more times than I ever want to. And that's the funny thing, I really don't remember what this song does for us. And yet here I am, doing everything I can to get it. I really can't imagine what it would do. Because this, the songs, the songs aren't, uh, they're kind of new in this phase of the Zelda franchise. Like, I don't know if, uh, Ocarina of Time had came out, come out by then, by now. I don't think it had, to be honest. And so, the Ocarina did appear in, uh, what was it, the SNES? But you just played it, and it, it was it was basically like your transporter. You just played it, and a, and a cuckoo flew around, and uh, you could tell it to go to one of eight points on the map. Pre 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 planned points. But uh, in this one, you actually get like the different songs for it. So I don't know, this might this might have been the first one where you get songs for your ocarina. I really think it is. But, but anyway, that long rant was just saying that uh, I really don't know what this third song is. Um, especially because I can't base the song off of any previous installments of what it might do. Great, you did it. Your reward is this way. Your reward, more like what you're going to have to pay for your reward. Teach me your song! Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam for 300 rubies? We'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you do? Uh, hey, I guess. Cheapskate. Ah! <laughs> Mouths on those frogs. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, it sounds terrible. And yet, somehow I'm enthralled by the little frogs on the end. Oh my gosh. This is just silly. Thank you, thank you very much. Croak? That was a terrible frog impersonation. You've learned the frog song of soul! It's a very moving tune. It can even li liven up unliving things. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Indeed. Probably, like, from the headache they'll get from it. So we can make dead things come back to life? I can't think of any dead things we've encountered. No, really. What have we encountered that's been dead? Are there any skeletons lying around? I, I can't think of any! This must be why I don't remember this sword, sword, this song doing anything. I honestly don't know what to do with it. It'll liven up the scene. I, you probably play it at some point or another, but I just don't know where. Oh well, whatever. Let's go, um, let's go north, I guess. Fly like a bird to the tower is what the owl told us to do. Oh, snap. You know what? Okay, I can't believe I just said snap. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure we need to get something before we can go to the bird tower. And it's going to involve an interesting mechanic of the Zelda game, which uh, would be giving up one of your actual sub-menu items, like the power bracelet or the rock's feather, in order to get another item that we need. I'm pretty sure it's down here, too. 